so the, the you've got these different uh, technologies that were there and then you know so the whole thing about innovation coming at you talking about uh, systems dying out because and then you need some in, innovation to come out of things uh, yeah. to drive the next wave so um, you see you see I, I i i would just talk about this a little bit the yeah. peak um the peak of the Kondratiev cycle that dominated what was the war of 1812 actually was in 1808 and so in 1808 um and and the and the napoleonic war started in 1798 so 10 years before because the pressure this this sort of pulse of entropy which is a Kondratiev cycle and then engenders conflict always the conflict starts before the peak so that's that's one area the next peak basically happened around the time of the american revolution around 1864 and then the next peak was 1920 so the first world war hegemonic conflict came in essentially six years before the peak of 1920 then the next peak was 1975 the peak of the cold war which was essentially a struggle between, you know, a communist atheist system that was a commodity producing society against a Western society that was democratic and a consumer society. So, of course, the contractive cycle dictated who was wealthy and the communist system looked unstoppable into the peak. And it looked absolutely rubbish from the peak onwards as inflation dropped in the West and commodity prices dropped. And now we're into the next peak, which is about 2030. And I believe that World War Three started in 2022 with the invasion of of Ukraine. Yeah. So c could you say a bit more about about that, about, um, you know, what you think might happen? Yeah, I mean, one of the, I think one of the most painful realizations for me was when I studied Kondratiev's work and I picked up the low in 2002, 2003. And as an investor, I'd really capitalize on investing in commodities when people didn't want to. Um, and once you accept that you've managed to get a wave like that and it worked, then you also have to accept that there is a peak. And historically, that peak brings conflict. Now, I would highlight conflict as being slightly different every other peak. So the major peak is about 112 years, two Kondratiev cycles. That yeah. takes us back to World War One with Germany's challenge against Britain. It takes us back to Britain's challenge against France in the Napoleonic Wars. And it takes us back to France's challenge against Spain 112 years before that. So we know big things happen every two cycles. And we know smaller things happen in between. Mm. The American Civil War would be one. You could argue the Crimea War was a little bit early, but you know, of the ilk. Um, and the Seven Years War was exactly the same before the Napoleonic conflict. And the Cold War was a non-hot war. We felt it was big at the time, but it wasn't a world war. It was in abeyance. So what we're in right now is not like 75. It's twice the magnitude. It's exactly the environment that takes the world into World War Three. Yeah. 